secret knocks. Uh-huh. <laughs> Little cat, did you find it? Did, did you find your... Uh, we're all past remembering. <laughs> Would you like some tea? I think tea, don't you?
Honey, it's me. Pick up if you're there. Okay, well, bad news, I'm afraid. The caterers have cancelled on us. Said they were double booked for the Saturday, so we're going to have to find someone else. Who knew getting married would be so much work? <laughs> anyway, see you later, love you. I just wanted to say that I understand if you don't want to adopt. I'm at the studio this afternoon. Call me when you're back and I'll come straight home. We can talk then. I love you. Just a small reminder from your loving wife. Don't you dare forget our appointment at the clinic today. 2 p.m. sharp. See you then, Mr. Scatterbrain. I tried your office but couldn't get through. Call me if you get this. I've got news and you may want to brace yourself. <laughs> Love you loads. Honey, are you okay? Talk to me. But are you, are you absolutely sure? I did the test three times. The doctors, they said... I guess we proved them wrong. <laughs> Be right. It can't be. That means it means we're not just a couple anymore. It means we're a family. Why show me this? Is this how you justify everything? What just happened? What was that? Ah, you're back with us. Good. Those memories, they felt different. What was that place? No need to bother yourself with that, Mr. Black. Just a quirk of the technology. So there were my memories? What's going on? That is none of your concern, Mr. Black. It is irrelevant to your treatment. Now. Let's proceed. Proceed. Right. How old are you? 25. Right. Let's imagine tonight you're walking home after work. You see a horse in the middle of the street and you're scared. You start uncontrollably panicking. Your heart is pounding. Your, your hands get sweaty. You don't understand what's happening to you. When you're an adult, for Christ's sake, you shouldn't be scared of a horse. No, now, you've no way of knowing what the root of this phobia is, but my therapy will make everything clear for you in an hour, maybe less. Perhaps when you were two or three years old, your brother snuck into your room one night, wearing a horse mask on his head. Perhaps he just yeah, stood there staring, watching, breathing, waiting. You woke up and you were terrified. I call it TRT. Toy regression therapy. Yeah. Give patients toys or mementos from their childhood, and the psychoanalytic magic works miracles.
On a scale of one to ten, how much did this new treatment help you to discover your inner self? Inner self? I'm no such thing. Please. I just wanted to serve my country. Oh, don't change the subject. I I'll ask again. On a scale of one to ten... You made them cut my fucking arms off! My fucking... We did it to save your life. That landmine... I will end you, motherfucker! I will crush your fucking throat! <laughs> How? You have no arms. But you seem to be much less concerned about your past mistakes now, so let's call that a night, shall we? Sad day for psychiatry and for people with mental health issues all over the world. I only helped my patients get better. Nothing more. Uh, and there's one thing I just don't understand. Why do the media still criticize my methods? How dare they? What about my results? Hmm? Not, not one idiot journalist ever asked how many of my patients were cured. Not one! And I know why, it's because my patients got better. All of them, even those who died. Especially those who died. You wouldn't regret letting me go. This is my art. All my brother's sacrifices to the puppet master. You killed all those people. Why? No, you cannot kill what does not live. They are free. And you will join them soon.
talk about our first lead, Mr. Black. What do you know? The question, Mr. Black, is what do you know? Let's see if you have any memory of this place. Focus on the photo when you're ready. Listen, I think someone's been murdered here in the warehouse. You should send someone. It, I'm half a mile down the road from the Pike Hill turning off Park Street. I was out on a run, and I stopped here for a minute. I'm looking at him right now. He's lying face down. No, he's definitely dead. There's a lot of blood. Yeah, it, it's Jacob. Jacob Singer. Look, can you please just send someone? Thanks. I do remember this place. Interesting. Please, just tell me why this is important. An unidentified man died at a nearby abandoned warehouse not long before you tried to save the girl. He was shot at point blank range. And we're going back to that warehouse? That's correct, yes. The police wrote the whole thing off as a drug deal gone wrong. But that's not what you believe. I believe everything in life is connected, Mr. Black. The only question is how. Let's find out, shall we? 